Hello friend, my name is Pawan Kumar and in my last video I have shown you that how uh, VPC works and what are the requirements is uh, on, on behalf you can create VPC and these are the architectures I have explained you. Uh, now in this video I'm going to uh, show you that how you can create these VPC into your uh, AWS account. For that you need to go to AWS management console and then select Mumbai region as per your client infrastructures where you want to create and then click services and from there select VPC. So once you will see uh, once you will click on it you will see uh, the default VPC will be available so you don't need to use that. You can go on create VPC by for creating your own and uh, I can name this uh, VPC whatever name you want to put you can uh, put your name at here uh, so my name uh, I'm just putting my name for reference is my network and then I'll call it uh, dash VPC and uh, that's it and then I'll select the CIDR which I have explained you in the last video and uh, remaining uh, options will be default and click create so once you have created now the next option is to create a subnets uh, which I have explained in the last video architecture and then uh, you can name it as uh, similar uh, which is matching to the VPC so that you can identify easily that this subnet is associated with which VPC and then click on my network VPC and I'll name it as dash SB dash DMZ because I want to create into the public net I want to I want to name it uh, this subnet as a public so I'll name it as a DMZ and then I'll select the uh, availability zone and name it as 1A because uh, because of the reference so that I can identify in which availability zone it is and then I'll select the CIDR and click create so uh, I'm just copying it for my uh, future reference so that I can create more subnets with the same name and click create so once you have created I'll go for another subnets to create and uh, I'll just name it as net uh, I'll paste the name same name and then uh, from here I will name it as uh, uh, app okay so uh, let me create one more subnets for DMZ so I'll name it as DMZ and uh, I'll name it as 1B because I want to select the availability zone 1B south 1B so so this way I will have high availability of my uh, of this subnets so any of the servers will be created in these two subnets will have high availability so that's it so i'll create a, i'll put the cidr of this and then click create so now i have to create another subnets so in the subnets i can have the same name and i'll select the vpc and then i'll select the availability zone was south 1a for app and then i can have the so I'll add the subnets at here and uh, CIDR subnets and then I'll click next. So when this is created, I'll create one more subnets. Uh, I'll name it uh, my, net, my network VPC subnets and then I'll name it as a DB. So I'm going to create uh, for DB and I'll put this uh, availability zone mark at here 1A and I'll select VPC and I'll select the availability zone south 1A. So this way I will have uh, I mean availability zone a database subnets in availability zone 1a so uh, I'll put the CIDR at here and then click next so it is all created so I'm not creating all of them which I have explained in my previous video so uh, you can have reference and you can create more as per your requirements now I have to create a public route tables which I have explained already and I'll create is uh, I'll name it as a public route table so I can call it uh, my network dash VPC and then I'll name it as public route table so whatever subnets will be associated with it it will be a public and if once will assign up IP address public IP address they will they can go outside so that's it and create next and uh, so I'll create a private uh, subnets uh, route table as well so I'll name it as a private and as RT route table and I'll select the VPC and then create. So when this is created, I'm going to create a gateway uh, uh, next to it because uh, public can be public 
and private can be private uh, because of the gateway that how you specify the gateway so I'll, I'm searching for the internet gateways okay so here it is so this internet gateway I'll select and I'll I'll, I'll create on create internet gateway and uh, from here I'll put the name as similar matching with my VPC so that it will be easy to identify the related content of the particular VPC and then I'll, I'll that's it and then create internet gateway so now the next term is basically to attach this internet gateway to uh, to the VPC which we have created and then select it and attach internet gateway now the next option is to go to route tables back to route tables and then you have to attach the routes routes to that root tab, uh, root tables so I've, i'm selecting public uh, public route tables and then from here i can have the option of edit routes okay so in edit routes you can see there is already one destination and one target is available so you can see that th this is my uh, uh, vpc cidr network and uh, what it calls is basically each subnets from which has come from this cidr network those all can communicate so you need to select the target as local at here so i'll type the local so i don't it, you don't have to do anything at here it, it was default so i just to show you so i just retype it and in the i need to add the root internet gateway so i'll select these uh, internet subnet mask which is zero slash zero and then add roots now the next thing is that i want to attach uh, or subnet uh, associate subnets so that uh, it can know that which subnets will okay so now i have to attach associate the subnets which i have created for public network so i'll edit subnet associations and then i'll select those both dmz subnets so uh, i'll select both one and then save so this is all done now i have to attach the uh, subnets to private route tables so i'll go and associate subnets and so i'll edit subnet associations and then i'll select those both subnets which is which i want to put into the private subnets and uh, that's it so it is all done so you can see that uh, i have attached all subnets into the route tables and this way i can create nat gateway also so that's it